Hello and welcome back to Points Play Games for some more Gibbos of Cthulhu Adventure. Last time we were in our office with Buzz at the very start, we ended up finding some clues. We went to Paris, he's going to Transylvania, and uh, we're currently looking into the, well, attempting to look into the room that Bob Olmstein, under a different name, has rented here. With that being the case, we are now currently uh, constantly bothering this uh, Parisian landlord, because uh, we're in Paris, uh, and trying to get him to let us go up there. We've rung the bell twice so far, and hopefully third time's a charm, so here goes nothing. I was just curious. No resonance. Yes, our haunter power, which Dave Archetype has. Dave? John? Whatever his name. Don. Don Archetype has. Uh... Regardless, let's ring the bell again. Ah, it's you again. Look, monsieur, I have a wife on the stove and a soup in the, the other way around. My point is, I'm a busy man. I mean, I just wanted to come clean. I'll let you get back to your soup. I don't want to do that. Soup? There are more important things than soup. Uh, look, I just want to come clean. I just clean. wanted to come clean. It's it's Olmstead who sent me. I was just testing you before. Oh, really? I never saw him with anyone else before, let alone sending someone. Allow me to remain suspicious as to your truthfulness. The fact that you know his name does not mean you represent him or are even his friend. You're being unnecessarily pedantic, or you have a right to your opinion. I mean, I just think that that's fine. You're being unnecessarily pedantic. No, I am merely being cautious. Big difference. You have the right to your opinion. And the right to ignore your apartment visiting insistences. That is true, but look, I'm here for the thing Mr. Holmes to have left behind. I'm here for the, uh, the thing Mr. Olmstead left behind. I'm sure I can find a way to convince you that I'm his representative. Fine, I'll play along. Hm. Let me think. Um, something that only he and I would know. Um, Aha! Uh -huh. All right. Could you perhaps uh, tell me, Mr. Um, uh, Ketype. Mr. Ketype. Do you know what his nickname for me was? That only he and I knew? And if you tell me that, I'm fully convinced he really did send you and hand you the key to Flamel's room. I feel like we did this. Although Flamel's what? Flamel's what? Room. R Rome. Room. Room. Oh, you are insufferable. <laughs> We're American. Are you, uh, I don't know, Sergio? Sergio Leone. Not even closer. I mean, let's just go through all of it. Gramps? Not by a long shot. Flamel. Oh, oh, whoops. Oh, oh. Uh, stretch? <laughs> okay. I, uh, I don't recall right now. I'm sure it'll come to me. Why am I not surprised? Anything else, monsieur? Uh, not for now, I guess. Are you? Okay, so now we know what we need to figure out, which sounds weird, but the only thing I could think of is if we keep doing the Haunter stuff. Mr. Watson, come in. I want to see you. Oh, wow. Right, right. It must be Mr. Watson. Are we able to say that to him? Oh no, do you not have anything <laughs> better to do with your times in torture me, Mr. Kidaipu? Not at all. Um, let me see. I don't know, may I inquire about the book you have there? May I inquire about a book you have here? <sighs> you may. It is our flamel, I have been keeping it for more than 30 years now. 
So it's uh, one of those things you write your impressions in after visiting? You should be a detective. How can I give my impression on Flamel if you won't let me visit his rooms? I don't know. Does this lobby elicit any historical enthusiasm in you? All right. I'd like to jot down my impressions of the place. I'm afraid I can't let you personally do that, but I will be happy to write down whatever it is you wish. Hmm, all right. By the way, what a beautiful quill you've got there. Actually, it's a fountain pen, made to look like a quill. Is the feather real? A quite real Corvius Corax feather, yes. A fine present from someone very close to my heart. What shall I write? Uh, I Donald R. Ketype. <clears throat> I, Donald R. Ketype. Yes? Knowing full well that this will go into rec record history through the grace of God of sound mind, <laughs> body and mind. Uh, let's go here. Knowing full well that this will go into recorded history. Y yes. Cannot help but affirm and compel to record into written history. Oh my God. Hereby declare. <laughs> All right. We're just going for it. I'm compelled to record into written history. Yes. That in a state of solemn fascination, that through circumstances that are hard to predict, let's just solemn fascination. That in a state of solemn fascination. Bon Dieu, is there more? Oh, I've only just begun. Oh yeah, or plenty. Oh, I've only just begun. I am a visitor to these strange francophone lands. Yes. But alas, while my prediction... So I staggered through the rain. <laughs> I mean, we could just monologue the whole time. Um, but alas, while my predictions were of a different nature... We're going this way. So I staggered through the rain-slick streets of the metropolis. In the name of all that is sacred, is there more? <laughs> For, in these precipitous times, my efforts to abscond the true nature of my incursions into the obscure and forbidden. Monsieur, you'll have to excuse me. I will be right back. Je viens, je viens. Oh. Oh. First off, what do we do? In his rush to attend to his wife in a soup, Serge left something behind, something that could help answer some questions. Most specifically... Monsieur Serge seems to have forgotten his beloved pen there. I bet that this was given to him by uh, Bob Olmsted. Pretty thing, I or must admit. Monsieur Olmstev, as he is called. This is for you, you Papillon. Oh, Monsieur Olmsted, it's it's beautiful. You are you are too kind. Okay. As Mac Viper says, never touch another man's pen. That's fair enough. All right, buddy. We got. We know who you are now, Papa Leon. I might have known it was you. What is it now? Just wondering how the soup is. <laughs> you know, I'm curious. Just wondering how the soup's coming along. It was fine until you arrived. Is that it? No, I remember what Olmsted used to call you. I remembered what Olmsted used to call you. It was Papapion. A con but boy in the face of evidence. You truly must be an envoy of my dear friend. I will give you the key to the apartment. Please reassure Monsieur Olmsted of my everlasting devotion and friendship. I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. Olmstein sends his regards. What is it that it endeared you so to Olmstev? How do you remember? Is Flamel's thing still up there? Let's uh, let's go from the right here. What is it that endeared you so to Olmstev, Mr. Serge? Is um, well, uh, huh, strange. I find it hard to put my finger on it. I just feel so loyal to him. Strange. 
I suppose it is a bit strange, but I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. Yeah, okay. So this just definitely sounds like it has to do with the fact that Olmstein is something else. He's something beyond human. He's the, the opposite side of all of the like, like crazy uh, monstrosities in this um, in this world. Uh, how do you remember him? How do you remember him, Steph? Oh, a very, very warm and uh, likable gentleman. Yeah, but what of his appearance? Appearance? Oops. I, um, well, huh, funny. Know that you mention it. I'm having a hard time recollecting his visage. Strange. Yes, maybe. But, but I'm an old man, and my memory is foggy about a lot of things. Yeah, that would explain it. Sorry about the uh, the random stop. I don't know what happened there. It looked like the game wanted to crash, but then it kept going, so I'm not too upset about it. Olmstein sends his regards. Olmstein? Huh. I mean Olmstaff. Silly me. Thank you for delivering his message. Wow. Uh, I guess last thing. Is Flamel's, uh, thing still up there? Is Sing, Mr. Ketype? Oh, come on, Serge. I work for the man. You know, the stabilizing element he was after. I truly know nothing of what Monsieur <laughs> Olmstead was researching up there. I figured he would keep you in the loop, no? Yeah, it's complicated. Fair enough. All right, well, thanks, Serge. Thanks, Serge. I'll come to bother you if there's anything else. No bazaar at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstead. All right. Now we have the key and the ability to go up there, so this should be good. What on earth? Well, this is, at best, unexpected. A really old, really crooked armoire. It looks, well, ancient. Nothing of interest. A uh, big vertical crack in it lets me know it's empty. Oh, well, there's that, at least. All right, let's just, I just wanna do that so that I can get an idea. So we have strange dust, a pentagram. Let's look at this. Strange little pyramids of grayish blue dust. Probably alchemical in nature. No time to look into it. Yeah, at Zoftu. Yeah, Angaku. Yeah, the Nibo. Okay. You and me both. I'm not gonna pick any of this stuff up. Who knows what it is and does. So we just have like the lookout. All right, we have rotting books, surviving books. Something happened here. All right, so it's the same strange dust. It feels like something busted out this door, uh, this glass uh, window. Paris, the city of lights. More like lightning now. Looks just as dreary as any other town in a thunderstorm. Wish I could have visited under different circumstances and weather. That is fair. What a cacophony. Too many damned people. Okay, figured. We'll always have Paris. Rainy, somber, Paris. Wow. Okay then, other than making... Now, the pentagram feels like the most obvious things to look at. I just want to kind of look at everything else in the room first, which really just amounts to these books. Ancient books, rotting away in this forsaken attic. So much for anyone ever reading them. They're no use to anybody anymore. Alright, fair enough. They're no use to anybody anymore. What about these surviving ones? These particular books had somehow survived. They seem to be in alphabetical order. I was gonna have to make some kind of informed choice here. Choices, actually. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, I wanna back up. We'll check that out in a second. Let's check out the pentagram then. 
course there had to be a pentagram. Of course. I guess Olmstev tried to follow in Flamel's footsteps. <laughs> know this, Seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Uh... Uh... Okay... Pentagram from my phrase into the occult. I know the rituals involving certain words that need to be spoken. Where do I look for them? They will have just... Those surviving books in the library have got to be connected to the pentagram. They all have just the first five words underlined. Can't be a coincidence. Wait, can I, can I look at the pentagram again? Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Order is capital. We wrote something down again. Order is capital must mean there's a certain sequence I need to follow. There's something capital about these titles. It is reflected in the knowledge within. Haunter's Mark revealed there's something capital about the books. Capital. Laris, Cation, and Nomri, Rubius. I don't really understand. Something about being in capital. Not really sure what it means by that. I mean, it doesn't help that I, you know, don't speak any language other than English. Um, although you may already be sitting there and saying to yourselves, come on, man. Inquisitore. Nothing. Okay. What is... Know this, Seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Order is capital. I don't understand what it means by order is capital. So it can be from multiple books as well. Order is capital. What does that mean? I'm just really not sure what it means by order is capital. This just doesn't... It feels like it doesn't tell me enough. Um... What does it mean? Queen Siku... Order is capital. Order is capital. What does it mean by order is capital? Nope. All right. So. Sorry if there was a little weird cut there. I had to pause the recording so that I could go help some people out. Alright, let's look at our book again. 
let's let's look at our notes because I've unfortunately forgotten in the few minutes that I had to step away. So order is capital. Must mean there's a certain sequence I need to follow. That makes sense. Something capital about the books. So here's the question. So if it's capital. Maybe it has something to do with the order's capital. Okay, so I actually, hold on. This, is starting to make, uh, this might make a little bit of sense. Since the order is capital, I assume that the assumption we want to make is that the order, so the numerical, since it's Roman numerals, the numerical order is capital. So it has something to do, so even though the I, for example, equals 1, I also may equal I. So, what if we start by looking for, like, a single, well, one that has a single I? And then what if we start with just the first one, because it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I think all of these use 5. So if we do that, now our second one is I I so maybe we're looking for something with like two eyes in it is there one that just has two eyes that has one that has three see this has two eyes and then let's just try the second one so then three eyes which is right here and then the third thing then the fourth one is IV, which, oddly enough, is right here. And then the last one is just V. So let's, I guess let's give that a shot. Because that actually kind of, that makes sense, I guess. Katos. I had chosen the book starting with an I and the first word in the sentence. I was onto something. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. That's a great start. Est. Est. Okay. I think we got this. Draconi. Nice. I'm liking it. In. Cool. I mean, oops. Know this seeker. Books hold an order. And last but not Phenom. least. Oh, that's just perfect. All right. Well, I mean, we just figured that out, but unfortunately we're out of time. We have a ladder going up now, and we'll definitely get to figure that out and take a look and see what more we see. But for now, thank you very much for joining me here at Point to Play Games. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day or evening or sleep, whatever on earth, whenever on earth this is. And I so look forward to seeing you next time. See ya.